The DIAC is a neutral nonprofit organization based in Canada. It consists of members from the public and private sector. These are thought leaders who are working to identify and develop digital identity standards, proof of concepts, and applied research, all with the mission of enabling Canada's full and secure participation in the global digital economy. Members can all join together under a common goal and a common problem or challenge that they're trying to solve and to leverage a common opportunity. IBM recently became a member of DIAC and the reason we wanted to do that is because we really like their open approach in bringing together um, minds from across public sector and from across other industries to be able to focus on important aspects around citizen identification and strong digital identification for Canada as a whole. We work together to learn fast, test viabilities, and demystify technologies to enable business and legal technical decision makers to be able to decide upon which technologies and standards they'd like to leverage. The technology surrounding the blockchain is quite possibly one of the hottest technologies across the, the technology industry as a whole. I think the best way to think about blockchain is that it's very much like uh, an Excel spreadsheet. You cannot delete and you cannot change any of the rows that have been previously added. All you can ever do is add additional rows. Every copy of that spreadsheet gets automatically updated. So if you had 100 different copies of the spreadsheet that people were looking at, when you add a row, all 100 people get that row added to theirs. One of the core portions about blockchain is that it's irrefutable. You cannot go back and amend anything that has been done on the blockchain. What's amazing about this is, is that it is automatically distributed and has integrity, and that's what's important. When I joined Service BC and I went around visiting my staff, one of the things that they presented that was a real concern for them and in corporate registries was the sharing of information across jurisdictions, and so they didn't have access to real-time information. IBM and the province of BC came together under the DIAC to form this proof of concept. We came together for a two-day workshop where we could really um, put the energy through design thinking in focusing on how to best to approach this problem. It was just a great two days of looking at what was happening, what the staff was concerned about, and then what could be the possible resolution to the process. So for uh, 10 consecutive days, we we created a series of code um, that actually could be uh, presented on a web viewer and showcased to the world the actual blockchain technology. So instead of the staff having to make a call and ask where that's at, they get real-time access to where the information is in the process. One of the prime values for public servants is service, and so the thing that they want to do is to be able to be very timely and responsive to their businesses and the citizens that they work for. The viewer allowed them to see into, not change any of the data, not shift anything, but to see where things were at the point in time and give that response to the business, which is huge. One of the key elements behind the success of this uh, two-day design thinking workshop was that we had collaboration amongst all of our partners. So we had representation from the business users, which was BevDex Group in Service BC. We had members of the Information Technology Agency, which is the office of the CIO, as well as our key leadership that came from DIAC in bringing us all together for these couple days. So DIAC is um, a key um, driving force in digital identity in Canada. It's important that all of Canada, whether that's public and private sector, have these digital identity capabilities in the future. So it's, it's essential for British Columbia that the rest of Canada is working the same way. Working with our members like IBM and like the province of British Columbia enables us to put real substance in the story and then enables us to take that story out to the world and grow that community larger of people who understand what the opportunities are and how they can possibly work together to take advantage of those opportunities.